So, I was at a party on my friend Shannon's channel. Yeah, well, party, whatever you want to call it. We were having a discussion following the Stephanie had debated um, Apologia, and we were having a discussion following the debate. Now, we were discussing a lot of things, epistemology, Jesus having risen from the dead. And I was offering at the beginning to these people there that for we, the Christian apologists, to try and debate to prove evidentially or convince evidentially that Jesus had risen from the dead, that's a really big undertaking. And I'm not sure that that is an achievable goal, especially given the context of a, you know, uh, a YouTube debate with atheists. I mean, that's, let's be realistic, okay? That's not necessarily an achievable goal. Now, Shannon and I had a little back and forth, and she said, so why are you here defending your faith? Well, I was here because you invited me here. So that's why I was there. But I've said this in the many videos in the past. Um, it's not a realistic, achievable goal for me, me the Christian, to think that I'm going to enter into YouTube debate, enter into discussion with atheists on YouTube, and they're, you know, in order for me to pr prove using evidence that Jesus rose from the dead, I think Cam was the one who said it. That's a really big deal, evidence-wise. That has to be like case closed. If you're just going on the facts and you're just talking about the facts of the Bible, almost every single fact can come into dispute. So what I had said in the past is that we, should, we the Christians, should actually avoid trying to debate that topic. And we should stick to things that are actually provable demonstrable because you, if you listen to the atheists and i've been listening to the atheists now what two and a half years you know extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof jesus having risen from the dead that's an extraordinary claim is it not okay so that's going to re require case closed evidentialism case closed evidentialism we're already starting from a, uh, from a vantage point 2000 years in history which means almost every single fact you throw on the table is in some way or another up for dispute i'm not saying that stephanie is wrong or paul gia is right i'm saying that every single fact that you throw on the table is up for dispute just by virtue of the fact that it happened 2000 years ago and you are trying to convince someone of a miracle. First of all, most atheists, most of the people who I was talking to in that particular discussion, I'm not even sure if they believe a miracle is possible. I'm not even sure if they're from a, they're at a place where they even think a miracle could occur. So you've got a humongous epistemological problem. Now, what I was trying to say for us, the Christians, Far wiser, if we're going to actually engage atheists, is to stick to demonstrable reality, demonstrable facts. I, it's too much for me to think that I'm going to prove to you, an, especially an atheist, in a given situation that Jesus rose from the dead. But what I may be able to do is demonstrate to you somewhat convincingly that there is at least some truth in the faith that I practice, some truth moving the bar down to an achievable goal. So I've, said, I've talked about this in the past and I'll talk about this in my videos in the future. So this is something I'm trying out. I just got a, a camera, a new uh, tablet. So I'm gonna try a couple of times. I'm very self-conscious. I'm gonna try being on camera. We'll see how it goes. Uh, Okie doke, amen.